the lecture started, the, or the presentation started, the presenter before me, he took more time that he, that, that he, sh that, that he should. He did not film it. He did not know how to, about that. He did not come to this lecture and learn this. So he did not learn the technique. He wasted everybody's time, and he talked three minutes extra. Now you have eight minutes instead of ten minutes. And here I crave flexibility. And it's really easy if you actually think like this. I have 10 minutes to talk. How about I time myself for talking for six minutes? If I talk for six minutes, then two minutes from that guy coming, uh, destroying my time, he's just, he's, he's, an, he's a conqueror. He conquers my lecture. But it's okay, he can conquer two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. My God, he came five minutes. Now I only have five minutes. You, pr you prepared for talking for six minutes. During this talk, it's six minutes. You have prepared for a little bit of questions too. Just a little bit. Please respect that time. It's probably one minute and a half or maybe two. So you, you say, all right, cool. I, I'll write my email somewhere. And I tell people to, 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 to email me their questions. And I will answer them sincerely. And then I, I will not, I will not, I will, I'm flexible. I saved the next presenter's presentation, which is very important. And I also will go and talk to this presenter that took my time and tell him that there, is a, there's, there are some tools that you need to acquire. <laughs> All right? So flexibility is important. Maybe you talk a little bit faster, but be clear and keep having this. Why am I there? What am I going to talk about? I'm conducting my research. My research can be conducted in, uh, in three months or in seven or six or four sentences. We should all agree on that. This is important when you write your manuscript. Your research could be conducted. You could be written in, 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 in very, very long sentences and you can explain every little piece of it. But sometimes when you don't have enough time and you're very flexible and you understand that things happen, what happens is that you, uh, um, you know th that you can actually adapt. Th this one is almost the hardest to do, all right? But you, you will have to do it at some point. And sorry, I said you have to. I mean, you would like to do it because you're conducting your amazing research. Are we cool? Now we're done, actually. Let's just, uh, let's just take this in. Three pieces of three cornerstones. The, the presenter, the audience, and time. To wrap it up, we, we, we learn these things. These are things that, as I said, we have probably, we, we, we have them somewhere in their heads. But now we put them into a structure, and now we're going to use them before every, every lecture from now on. Every presentation from now on. And we're going we're gonna to think like this. Uh, what was it again? It was something about a presenter to know why he's standing there. Why? And the second thing is what he's going to talk about. Why we want to achieve this amazing moral thing with helping humanity and changing the world into to something better. Making some, you, you, can, you, can you imagine when I say cure cancer? I, I don't know if you have, if you know somebody that did have cancer, but it, it has such a huge impact. I do research with, I do cancer research. That's why probably I'm a little bit closer to it. And, and, and I see the, 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 the impact of, of one cancer patient. One cancer patient is suffering. Now, a long time ago, we could not, we were really bad in, in treating cancer. Now, roughly 40% of cancers can be treated. And I, I assure you, it was a lot of research, research done to get that to happen. And, and somewhere there, there were some super awesome presenters. And that could be 
That is you, actually. There's nothing that you guys here are lacking for you to have these tools. There's nothing. We know that we're going to know why, and it's for a beautiful reason, and we're going to know what these people who are going to leave the lecture will know. Good. Now we go to the audience, and now we're going to know who the audience are, and, and we're going to feel them, how they are. Feel them. Have some empathy and, and communicate. This is a little bit, this is a bit, bit I, I can understand that it's, it's a bit, sometimes, as I said, too emotional, too, what is this guy talking about now? But you, you, you probably will feel it. As I said, just don't block yourself into this bubble and let, it, let this communication happen for the conduction to be, to be done. And, and the last thing is time. Please film yourself. Please. It's a good idea. It's a wonderful idea. Once you've done it, you will even know some aesthetic things, which are important, but a part of that, you will know the way you talk. Maybe the way you talk, maybe the way you put words is completely incomprehensible. Maybe. Now, um, the, the next thing is, 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 is being flexible, and which is, as I said, prepare to talk for 40 minutes if you're going to talk for 45 minutes. And, and in the end, what happens is that this chart that we showed in the beginning, which is this, this again, I'm going to say this again, this is how much you're interested in your research. Uh, hopefully, this is how much you are interested in your presentation and research. And, and this little one is how much everybody else is interested in your presentation before that you started talking. Of course, before, not after. Now, if, if, we, if we know what we're doing and if we have these tools with us, we will make people's interest even bigger than ours. Wow, we can actually make it. We can. This is, is obviously uh, pure dedicated awesomeness. This is a, this is a, a, a description that uh, I go around with for a while. Pure dedicated awesomeness. This is like, all right, so Superman, yeah, he's cool, and, and, and Batman and Chuck Norris, they can save so many lives, like one hot chick and a couple other lives on a bus or something. But what your research is going to do is going to save generations. Probably your research is going to have going to have, uh, 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 statistically, it's going to have negative results that are not completely uh, uh, not going anywhere. And it's going to have some positive results, those, who, those of you who are going to be like really lucky. Now, those who have negative results, they are amazing. They're super awesome. They are super awesome. They're actually awesomer than those who are very lucky and they got a Nobel Prize. <laughs> you know why? Because your research is time spent for the greater good. And this time that is spent is going to be, it's going to be recognized and it's going to be registered, and it's going to be written somewhere. And the people after you, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, they're going to use these data, and they're not going to do the same mistakes that you did. Probably just go around it. Maybe you didn't do any mistake. Just go around and do another strategy. And that, as I said, is pure dedicated awesomeness. Nothing is cooler than that. Nothing. Except, of course, for the new Cadillac Escalade, which is... Uh, and not only that it has uh, golden rims, it actually bounces as a basic option. Thank you very much. All right, now we have five minutes for uh, questions. And um, this is my email. You can write it down. Uh, you have uh, some seconds until I tell you about the next slide. Th those of you who have questions that need, need to be answered now, that we have time for now, are going to ask, and we're going to discuss a little bit. Of course, after me, is going to be Anna, and you're going to discuss the same things that I talked. Uh, and, and, and let's say you didn't have time. Let's say you weren't listening today. It was a bad day. You ate too much. <laughs> and let's say that happened. Uh, what I would like you to do is, is, is email me, and I will, I will definitely answer you. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a promise. It doesn't take more than two years for me to answer an email. <laughs> Never did. All right. And for those of you who will ask questions now, um, please go ahead.
Do you really have questions? I don't think so. It was so clear. It was so easy. It was, uh, what did I even say? It was nothing. Yeah. Me. Yeah, personally. That's for my email to, to answer, but definitely I can answer you now. Are you kidding me? I've done horrible ones. I made people suffer in every point of my presentation. <laughs> yeah, um, well, knowing why is nothing that I ever thought about until I, uh, yesterday. And, uh, <laughs> and um, I'm just exaggerating a little bit. Knowing why, I didn't know what I'm, I'm talking about. It did happen. Um, and um, I didn't know the audience at some point. I did not know, um, I did not feel the audience at some point. Uh, I, was, uh, I was a music teacher and, and I actually, I, I was teaching for a uh, music coach, music theory, and I was teaching some people. And there was a guy that he was paying, it was a private course, and he did not even understand my language. And the guy was beautiful, he was an amazing musician, he was trying so hard, you see? And um, what else? The time, yeah, of course, I took more than the time that I should have. Um, nevertheless, uh, um, and uh, I was completely inflexible. But that's a fault in my personality. <laughs> I'm going to work on. Any more questions? Oh, my, it's so personal. Again, for my email, let's, let's, uh, it's only seven ninety nine, by the way. Um, it, it's, I'm, I'm doing science. I'm doing medical. Uh, uh, I'm a PhD in, in nephrology, and uh, the, the institute is, is uh, the two institutes you see here is, is neuromedicine, neurophysiology, and, um, and the uh, Wallenberg lab. So I, I work with these two, two uh two places and we're, this is it's like cancer research yeah. that's so in short Yes, it's a very, very good question. Thank you very much for asking it. Um, is, did everybody hear what she asked? What she said it, is, is that it's hard to actually achieve these points. I mean, they sound very easy now, but it's sometimes it's really hard to, 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 to make uh, everything uh, uh, in, in, in this structure. I, I mean, the format, the, the thing that you're going to talk about is, is very complicated science. How could you put it in simple words? How could you, have, how could you do all these things? Is that what you're asking? That's what you're asking. And, and sometimes choosing the words and thing, things like that. I, I'll tell you something. Um, um, I, I studied in American schools all my life. And, and, and English is, is something I'm really comfortable around. And for this presentation, which is around 10 slides, I actually took it to an expert in English language to look at it and gives me, give me some feedback if it's good or bad. She's from England, so she has this very cool English. Uh, 